So guys, the truth about this issue is that not only bad things they come from Nigeria. We are not saying that Nigerians government are not doing anything at all. But the only thing with the hammer is that the development of Nigeria is very slow. They are chopping too much than giving out to the people. Well, congratulations to those people who say they had been Lagosians because the new dawn has started. Well, eventually, during the time of Babaji De Sanwolu, a lot of development don't they come out now? We be say majority of the Nigerians don't they see you as they saw for my table for here. I go bring them for you. I can I know you can see the video of we be, we be say they go on by my side right now. But uh, let me just read what uh, the development is all about. Then say governor of Lagos State, Babaji De Sanwolu, openly uh, commissioned the first phase of the Lagos Real Moss Mass Transit LRT Red Line to Passenger. This is the second rail system in Lagos State to go operations in less than two years. The first phase of the Red Line is 27 kilometer railway head stations at Onyigo, Yaba, Oshodi, Mushin, and Ikeja, Agege, Iju, and Agbodi, Lagos to Ag Agbado. Ogun State. Wow, wow, wow. Well, so guys, I, I always told you that uh, Nigerians, when we talked about the art beat of Nigeria, that we can't be talking about Lagos. Yeah, Lagos is one of the art beats in Nigeria that I, I even say Lagos is the former capital of Nigeria and now the economical capital of Nigeria. We say if they do anything, you are into entertainment, you are into uh, uh, business, or you want to have a, a company headquarters, you have to hit the Lagos economy first before you can spread across the Nigeria. And this is a good development for a Lagosian because uh, any country, I tell you, any country will be say they don't get real, real transport system. They don't know what thing that they do because uh, this transport system is one of the best transport system. We be say you know go see delay. If your time of reaching work is five o'clock, you are going to reach where you are going in five o'clock. There is no hold up. There is no the only thing that uh, I can see here is that we don't know how fast uh, the train will be, but no matter how the condition, I know that it will definitely fast than BRT. Because BRT, you go still jump some old up, we say you go wait for some time before you go move on. But this one, it shows, say, there is no old dub. And if you look at the seat, we will say a day inside this one. The seat plenty because they don't do them like boss. They do them like straight line and face to face. Even Dubai Rail, we be say now nah, one kind metro, they no get plenty seat for inside like this. Talk less of uh, Nigeria. And this is a great development. I can tell you, if I say good thing, I'm going to tell you that this is good. If we have started from 1960, we will say we now don't get independent to the work on our life like this by now we know we go no good day where we day maybe on those state go don't have any good go don't have and also some state in nasara go don't get we be say it go day good for the nigerian people but i think this is high hope now if nigeria want to be better real is very important real is the key of the economy business in every country because reason if you get real there are two types of rail in now our days. We have two types of rail. We have the rail for, you know, what is it, passenger transportation. And we also have one for transport goods from one location to another. Imagine, say, Nigeria and get those two rail. We'll be say with the user. The one we'll be say then they use the transport goods from one location to the other. Then they use them transport oil or petrol or all this thing. All this calamity, we'll be say they happen on our road every day could de definitely stop and all these fine people trailer rush into some people find them trailer jam some people trailer some people are driving trailer enter trailer every time on our road and also all this trailer they spoil our road all those things go removed so i beg nigerian federal government to work especially on this rail we go connect nigerians together we go collect nigerian state together we be say all this product they won't carry tomato all the way from north to, ne to south to it go day easy they won't carry from south to west to it go day easy so that we can have a better life those country where we they run to where we see them be developed country they don't get much they just make sure that the key of life 
is very important for them. What are the key of life we are talking about? Electricity, transportation system, medical system, and also some benefit for their citizens. Those are four things they are just using because once those four things are in place for you, the security will be very tight and majority of the people we know what to do imagine if there is good light in nigeria tell me how are you not going to have a cctv in your house if you have cctv in your house if oh, it if is coming to your house it will think twice because you know say you get somebody dead there will say he go the watcher and this is how security keep on improving so it's not that maybe nigeria have too much problem it's just that the basic life problem that we need to have solved for many years ago is still there for us. And the, the more the problem are there, the more the problem increases on a daily basis. This is a good one. And I really love what Babaji De Sanwolo has done. This is not a campaign for him. It's not anything for him, but just to tell you that when you see good thing, you have to talk about it. This is a development. And I hope other states can emulate him to do something of this nature for their state don't even think okay, okay uh, people of our state is too small it doesn't really matter put infrastructure there for your people even if you are just one million people in your state do necessary infrastructure not they carry the money go abroad go they give those people we'll be say they don't even care about you we'll be say tomorrow after you don't carry the money go then go tell you say you stole the money then go just Get, collect the money from you and send you back to Nigeria. This is a lovely one and I love waiting really happen here. I'm going to show you the entire video and I want you to give your comment in the comment section. Share your opinion and let us know what you think about this development. And if you are watching me for the first time, yeah, I got your back. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel on the notification bell and also share this video to other people out there it's your boy hola of my media tv and i'm gonna see you in another video peace out